this is not financial advice. I just took a bunch of oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, I made $500 on my last trade, but actually I did one more trade after that one and I lost $100. I'm telling you this because I'm keeping it real and I keep it raw. I want you to understand what we like to call the price to play the game, also known as the expense that it costs to be the boss. What is that? When you trade, sometimes you will lose. So I often preach that you gotta keep your losses small so that your wins could be through the roof and your losses could be kind of cute. What do I mean by that? I lost $100, like I said, but I made five. So imagine that I keep this up and many people see me trade on the live streams over at KGU. Well, I give you the plays, I show you the exact trades and we've been extremely profitable. They see me doing these trades and then sometimes you see me take a little baby small loss. This is the cost to play the game. This is how it is. Some people have that misconception. And let me know if you ever had it, that you gotta win every single trade or you will win every single trade. That's unrealistic. Anybody telling you that is trying to sell you a dream. Now, what I'm telling you is that you have the capability of knocking these things out of the park if you put in the time. But I put in some time for you right here. Let's talk about it. Ticker symbol NVDA, AKA NVIDIA, which is the biggest artificial intelligence play in the game right now they're making all of the computer chips called gpus that a lot of these companies like and i want to tell you something and give you my take on what we just recently heard related to the owner of tesla who is elon musk and then another owner of this company called oracle which you may or may not heard of but nvidia stock that was 139 dollars at the peak like 140 or so came down to where it is right now at 115 I just bought 10 shares. So I'm telling you right here, right on YouTube that I bought 10 shares of Nvidia for the long term. Reason being, as long as artificial intelligence is booming and popping off in the world and popping up every which way, this is gonna be a winner. And we've been in this one. And if you got in with me, we got in when it was $50, not even too long ago. So I'm trying to tell you this so that you can understand that it's not too late to make a lot of money here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is it too late to get into the stock market or is never too late? I really want your honest opinion, but check this out. This is posted by a company called The Transcript and they said the Oracle CTO, Larry Ellison, who I just found out is almost as rich as Jeff Bezos or basically as rich as the owner of Amazon and people never even really heard of this dude. It's funny how the powers that be getting crazy rich in the background. Meanwhile, you looking at your money getting eaten up by inflation. That's why you gotta tap in and find what they call your trusted voice. Somebody that can help you to figure out this path on this market so that you can get paid, family. Now, Larry Ellison, he said that he went to dinner with Elon Musk and Jensen, who is, and let's just be clear, Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla, SpaceX, and even X, AKA Twitter. And then Jensen is the founder of NVIDIA, the stock that we're talking about today. But Larry Ellison, who is the CTO of Oracle, as rich as Jeff Bezos now, he said he went to dinner with Elon Musk and Jensen, and he would describe the dinner as Oracle and Elon Musk begging Jensen for the NVIDIA GPUs. He says, please take our money. No, no, take more of it. You're not taking enough. We need you to take more of our money, please. So Tesla, Twitter, SpaceX, Oracle, all of these major institutions and major players in the game are basically begging NVIDIA to please give us these computer chips and they're willing to pay whatever it costs because it's so efficient for the business. So why might they be doing something like that? I want you to really pay attention to this. Imagine that you run an lemonade stand. You know how I do. I'm bringing up the lemonade stand so we can understand the simple business of the AI, artificial intelligence. You run an lemonade stand and everything in your lemonade stand is making you, let's call it $1,000 a day. You killing it in this lemonade stand, but it's costing you $500 a day to do this same work. Now you got an artificial intelligence or a robot to do the work for you and you could go home and chill in the crib and the robot cost you maybe $1,000 one time, maybe even $2,000 one time. It's gonna pay itself off in a few days and then it's gonna be running automatic. It's gonna increase automation. So now you got a freaking transformer, a robot sitting right there, running the lemonade stand at super efficient speeds. You might even make $2,000 a day when you used to be making $1,000 a day. But even if you still make that same $1,000 a day at this lemonade stand, 
then guess what? You don't have to really do it. It's automated. You can let go of some of your employees. I know you've been hearing about a lot of these tech bros and tech employees and engineers losing their jobs behind the artificial intelligence boom. And if you didn't know, now you know. So let's get into some major news that's going on today at about 2 p.m. Eastern time on September 18th. The rate cuts are in sight. This is what the news is telling us. When you hear about the interest rates on everything, you know, if you try to get a mortgage or a credit card or get a car and get a financing plan on that, the interest rates are gonna be crazy, right? Crazy insane. So now the current interest rates is a range between five and a quarter and 550%, but they're gonna reduce it by 25 basis points. This is the expectation to 5% flat or five and a quarter. So it's gonna be in that range now. Why is this important? Because if they do that 25 point rate cut on the basis points, this is gonna mean that the market has kind of priced that in. It's expected, but if they do the 50 point, then I want you to really look out for that. So if they reduce it by 50 basis points rather than 25, and I'll keep you notified on that, we might get a quick flash crash and then a pump up later on. Why is this important? Because if you do anything, meaning the Federal Reserve, they move their interest rates too fast, this is gonna signal that they are in fear. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, AKA FUD, is one of the worst things in the stock market, which could cause everybody to start selling off, which gives us a flash crash, and then we will be able to load up again. So you gotta be able to see the good in the bad when you are trading in the stock market. If you're thinking like everybody else, you're gonna end up like everybody else, living paycheck to paycheck, no savings. They afraid to invest. They think investing is a scam. They think everybody is a scammer online, even when they're giving you valid information. They don't read books. They don't go and work out. They don't do anything that would be self-beneficial. So what I'm telling you is you gotta go against that crowd. You gotta make sure, and no disrespect to your mother, father, grandmother, uncle, aunt, granddad, whoever, if they weren't being the people who you want to be, you gotta do something a little bit differently. You gotta say, yo, I love and respect my granddad. I love and respect my dad, my grandma, my grandma, but I want my life to be a little bit different. I, I don't wanna live paycheck to paycheck. I wanna be able to pass down something to the next generations if I decide to have kids or if I already do. I want you to think, what do you have to do to get there? And what you gotta do is make sure that you tapped in with a better circle, a circle of people who are trying to help you to level up. This is why I get on here because I know many people don't have that voice in their life. They don't have somebody who they could come and say, yo, I'm interested in these rate hikes right now. I'm interested in NVIDIA stock. I don't have anybody to talk to about it. You could talk to me about it, family. Get in the comments. I'm going to get there and I'm going to talk to you about it. If you feel some type of way about NVIDIA in terms of this stock, that stock, write to me. I'm going to write right back to you in these comments. I got your back. Let's get over to the price targets. This is on the Moomoo Moo app. Everybody always asks me, where am I getting the price targets from the most up-to-date ones? You could download the link in the top of the description. And the Bank of America just said yesterday that they're calling this a buy. And they had said that it's going to $50. And then Goldman Sachs said that it's going to 135. Citi just said that it's going to 150. And then DBS, another institution, said it's going to be a buy as of right now. Why am I telling you this again? For the sole fact of we can see the institutions who own 85% of the stock market are betting with it and not against it. NVIDIA's founder, you keep hearing about this. He just sold more of the stock. He's been selling for like the last two or three months. He just sold 28 million of it. People are interested in insider selling because it's a signal that they don't think it's gonna go up crazy higher than this. But you gotta remember, this dude been in NVIDIA stock since it started. He's one of the founders, if not the only remaining one. So that means that his average on the stock might be, what, NVIDIA is $115 right now? He might be in for a quarter a share. You understand what I'm saying? So I say all of that to say he got to take profit to live his life, to pay some of these bills down so he could pay some of these loans that he might have taken against his shares. That's how billionaires do. Some get it and those that get it, get it. And those that don't, don't. But we're going to try to convert those that don't into those that do. This over here that I'm looking at is called the volume profile. You might not be able to see it on your screen. I may or may not be able to throw it up because I'm obviously traveling right now. But I'm looking at the technicals as we speak on my device right here, and I can see that there's a whole lot of buying, a whole lot of buying at like the 99 level. If I see NVIDIA down there, I'm loading a boat. And then if I see it between about, let's call it 110 and 115, then I'm willing to nibble. I'm willing to grab a little bit. If I see it up in the 125s, then I want to slow down to see if we could break to the 126, 127 before I start to make any sudden movements. But the 100, that's what I'm going to the bank, I'm grabbing all the money up and I'm dumping it on the desk and say, bam, Jensen, load me up. You understand what I'm saying? But I will still use a stop loss because I know that if it drops too low, then it could continue to drop. 
that's how we got to understand the game. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hit the like and subscribe and join KGU so you can get the buy alerts and then take the classes which are included for free. Once you join for the buy alerts, family, I'm going to teach you how to fish and I'm going to get you fish at the same time. If you appreciate that, you know what time it is. I love y'all and I see you in the next one. Have a good day and take care.